is the goat, okay? So according to the, the Wikipedia, he tricks people into going to the river. So you just poke at him and drag him up. And he's like, hey, you want your key? Well, first, you got to collect these four ghosts for me. Being that you left her in the cold, she's already a spirit. So the game begins after you swipe a little bit and it spells out your walk. Playing your walk. My best friend in the world recommended it. In the old days, at the stroke of midnight, they ventured out into the night through the dark woods where strange creatures roam. Okay, I'm going to walk directly to uh, my GF at the windmill. Okay, so it's one space over and up. Skip the box. Go to the logs. Okay. Just walk the back up near this wheel. Okay. I'm going to go left three times to the food. Forward twice. Go left to the little bridge thing. And head left and straight to the windmill. Okay. So it says, there you are. You should not go outside. You just have to flick up on the screen. Did you see anyone coming here? Now you're being silly. It's not like that. But, you know, he is waiting for my answer, and this is the last day of the year. I don't like it when you're like this. You're walking. I hope you're joking. I promise you won't do anything foolish. You should hurry home to the cottage. Alright, so, I'm going to leave directly from there. So, one space over to the right, back. Okay. I'm going to back up near the little bridge thing. Back up twice, right immediately after there. Go forward near this wheel. All right, back up near the logs, obviously. Skip the box again. And then near these uh, rocks right here, back up, right back in my cottage, okay? So it zooms in on my cottage, and I'm just going to have to flick the screen, and it spells out your walk every time that I flick the screen. I didn't realize I had to flick the screen. Back up near this wheel. Back up near this puddle. Okay, and let's head all the way to the right, and you should come upon a spirit. So, being that you left her in the cold, she's already a spirit, okay? So, I did an all-nighter, and I, I happen to be able to do it on my... Alright, so, this is an owl puzzle. You could poke them, one or both of them at the same time. So let's back away from here and head over to uh, the porter potty, which is one over and then forward. So you just twist the doll's head all the way in one direction, and then it plays a series of things that you either have to remember or write down. My best way to remember is the first one was left, and then it's both at the same time. So it's L, B, L, R. So it's like pound, L, R, R, pound, L, R, R. Pound L R R B. Pound L L R B L B. Okay. So it's pound L L R B L B. So I'm going to do that uh, sequence of owls. You could click them both at the same time. So here I am just thinking like, which one should I do? Obviously I have to do L and then B. Ah, I'm a genius. I solved it. I get to go into the sound area. So the sound area, um, I think it's uh, two uh, to the right and then three to the right and then like six to the right and then four to the right and then like oh. that's two four six three all right so two three six four One, two, two, three, four, six, one, two. Okay, that didn't work.
Nice. I solved it. Perfect. So you essentially get uh, eaten by the spirit inside of the tree. Um, at which point you are rewarded a key. Okay? Because this game is a metaphor. Alright? You essentially follow a fake ghost into a tree and then you get a key to the cemetery. Okay? This lady's still not back. Alright, so if you head all the way over here, you back up and you go back to the puddle. Cross the log. So there's the goat, okay? So according to the, the Wikipedia, he tricks people into going to the river. So you just poke at him and drag him up. And he's like, hey, you want your key? Well, first, you got to collect these four ghosts for me. Four ghosts now? They have uh, little gimmicks. And normally, like, the blood trails suggest they're nearby. So the first one, essentially, you drag this, uh, this wheelbarrow and you get the first one. And you actually have to poke them and drag them and then move along the screen while holding them uh, in order to drag them. Okay, you may mess up a little bit. I was trying to place them in the wagon. It doesn't work. So essentially, you have to poke him and then drag him with you. Okay, so I'll, I'll show this right now. All right, so I grab him. There we go. So I just need to drag him back to the river. Hmm. Alright, so I drag this one all the way back to the river. Done. Next one. I'll just uh, generally skip ahead and show how you solve each one. So for this one, um, you actually have to pull the screen all the way to the left. Like, you drag it from the left all the way to the right. Okay? And then you hold it, and then you drag it a little bit more. And you go, like, off screen. Which is pretty crazy. So you have to like hold your thumb on the middle of the screen and drag it all the way to the right hand side of the screen and then keep dragging the screen. And then you could grab that one. And he just keeps going further and further away. All right, so let's bring him back to the left, all the way. All right, so for this one, um, you actually have to turn your screen upside down to get the this one. All right, so for this one, it's hanging from the windmill. So you just keep going in and you turn the wheel like one, like two times until you could grab it. See, it's slightly off screen right here. So one more time. All right, now you could drag him back. All right, so I managed to capture all four of them and bring them back to the goat. At which point he reveals a key and then it creates a fire, okay? I don't think the order matters because I just pressed it. You just have to press all of them. So you get a blue flame. And you're supposed to drag this into um, this one wooden door stone area. Nice. Okay. So essentially you could drag it around here. And all right. So you scroll over to the, to the right a little bit. Near these jars right here. Okay. In this uh, wooden area, you a little bit to the left, you notice that there's like a wooden thing here. So you could actually grab and pull it, and a ladder pops out, which I had no idea. This is the furthest I ever got in the game at this point. So you see there's a dead crow on the floor. So essentially, uh, you poke it, it jumps up, and then you poke it again, it opens its mouth. Uh, but there's a special way to do it. So you essentially poke it. And then uh, you like pull up and you pull the other crow out of the crow. Cool. So you grab the key and you're going to return uh, back to the cemetery, which you do once a year. Nice. The end's crazy. <laughs> All right. So you bring the key to the cemetery. Yeah, alright, so, right, left, 
right, left, left, right, left. Left, right, left, right. Okay. You uh, click on both sides of his cloak and lift it up. And then you click on his heart until it blows up. And then essentially you drag the top and bottom like so. And then you click above each of the gems and break each of the gems. Nice. So for this one, you essentially, uh, you take uh, the engram thing and you essentially spin it until did th this dude he literally he hacked my iPhone with Stanley Powerball okay so for this part you essentially just flick it around and then it sticks in and you just switch the other direction each time super easy so for this one you just have to break the goat okay so this is your walk the game it's on iPhone and Steam uh, it's like a Scandinavian horror game with folklore, and it's pretty quick. Um, it has cool little eerie sounding wood music. So at this part, I'm just going to break the goat all the way down. All right, perfect. Um, this is some portal to portal. This is some portal stuff. This is crazy. They can make iPhone games. How do they do this? My notes. This is crazy, guys. I'm time traveling. No. <laughs> it says remember. Oh my god, dude. This guy's lying to me.